What up, YouTube? Back with another video. Let's talk about it Tuesday. Before we get right in it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you share this video. Tell a friend. Make sure you subscribe. It costs you nothing but means everything to me. Trying to get to that milli, 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 milli. Um, today talk about Tuesday. I am going to do it with a mukbang. Um. Bless this food that we're about to receive in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Um, I don't know why I said it's right, but but um this meal was in, I came up with was because my friend um Rob, Big Rob, shout out to Big Rob. He was talking about soul food. And I was like, man, that do sound good. So I made me some um cabbage, cornbread with this little mix I make when I make greens and cabbage, and some steak with um gravy mushroom gravy i don't know if y'all can see it but that's the that's that's what i can do uh i will be using my hands because i can only eat greens and cabbage with my hands i mean not only can but i prefer it that way so i try not to order it when i'm out in public and i gotta have a cornbread with some mustard on top I'm gonna take a couple bites because I am hungry. I just finished two interviews, so be on the lookout for that, y'all. I'm gonna get right into it. We were just having a discussion about do people eat greens with their hands or use a fork? You know, because some black people do do that. The girl put her foot in it. Mm. I love cabbage. Especially when it's cooked right. I don't like it too mushy, too hard. <clears throat> I like it in between. Mm. So good, y'all. Mm. And of course I didn't grab a napkin. So far. <clears throat> anyway, I hope y'all week started out okay. Hope y'all had a good weekend. I know one thing, it went down for Mexican Independence Day. They let the Mexicans in the door. They were out having a good old time. Literally for like a whole week straight. Oh, he's up in Chicago. Mm -mm -mm, yeah, it's so good. Mm. I'm trying to start back cooking. And I gotta be careful how I chew because with the visit lines <clears throat> and your teeth are, you know, spreading out, it's kind of sore. But um but I'm banging it. 
and bag in the jaw. Mm. Wow. Well, let's jump right into it. So, um, Monday, comedian, actor, AJ Johnson passed away. And you know, just last week, and week before we lost another comedian. And we also like lost Michael Williams. Now they haven't came back with um, his autopsy saying where he died from, but I'm just praying that it's not fucking cocaine or anything. Cause I know that's what the last two had passed away from. And it's just like, we really have to check on our people, you know? Even when they make it seem like everything's okay, you gotta check on your people. Cause we really do not know what people are going through, you know? A lot of people have a lot of issues, you know, whether, you know, mentally or socially, stuff like that, that they need to deal with, you know, so mental health is definitely real people, definitely real. So, you know, rest in peace to AJ Johnson. If y'all don't know who he is, he's um, known for being Ezel on Friday, um, played in um, I Got the Hookup, played in so many hood movies, man. Very talented brother, super talented dude. So it's just sad to see him go. Um, I believe he was like 56 years old. So that's definitely not old at all. Um, definitely keeping his family in my prayers because that's crazy, just crazy. Um, I don't know if a lot of you guys like watch Lock Up or anything and basically not lock up, it's called Life After Lock Up, is what it's called. Mm. Yeah, so Love After Lock Up. <clears throat> um, basically, these people. They either knew them before they went to jail or they met them at jail. And uh, these people have been spending all this money on these folks. Don't know them from the cat in the hat. And then when they get out, they expect something different. Like they, they was, you not all of them are users, but you got some couples that some dudes and some females been used basically, why these people was in jail. I mean, spending thousands, y'all, thousands. But it's love at the lockup and life at the lockup. I just figured out they was two different shows, even though they come on the same channel and look the same. Um, what else been going on? I, you know, I want to touch on the JJ Day and the other young lady who went missing because it's kind of fucked up and I'm just gonna keep it 100 that you know this young man on the right path doing the right thing has been missing for almost a month I want to say 28 days and it didn't receive the media coverage that this young lady is receiving which is absolutely crazy to me um uh, you know, he went missing 28 days ago. They found his car with also with his clothes on. So that means somebody must have stripped his clothes off. You know, barely any media attention. Barely. You know, but this young lady becomes missing. And it's a all out, all people on deck, media, FBI, all types of shit. And it's just like, wait a minute, you know. This young man has been missing for almost a month. His mama is pleading with y'all. And you found this car, you found this, but it's, it's like, it's not getting the same attention that this one is. And then you let the dude go. That's what pissed me off. Like if this, people all say, oh, why are you gonna make it a racist thing? Because it fucking is, it, it just is. It, it just is. If this was a dude named fucking Quan or something, and he rolled back 
to where they're from and told the parents, oh, I can't find your daughter XYZ, he will be under the jail. He will be guilty until they prove him innocent. You know, but then you let this dude go and now you can't find him. You know, and you have JJ Day's mom over here begging and pleading to get the same media attention, to get the same word out about her son. And it took for her to call a racist, you know, play on this situation for y'all to get her to media attention. This woman's looking for her son. She she wants her son. Just like that mother wanted her daughter, this lady wants her son as well. And I just, you know, my prayers go out to, to both families, really. But, you know, my prayers go out to JJ mom because I felt her on that interview. And this lady needs her son. So, you know, keep sharing the post. Let's try to find him. Um, originally from Danville. He um, is a student at ISU, I believe. It's just crazy, man. It's just crazy. I and mean, that's why we got to check up on our people. We got to check up on our people. You know, what else been going on? Just a lot of nothingness in the world. Right now, people still tripping about this vaccination stuff. They don't know if they're going to keep the schools open or closed. You, you know, right now, we just at a, we at a standstill. We just at a standstill. Nobody knows what. Everybody doing shit, but nobody really sitting down and trying to figure out, you know, what we going to do. Um, so... I was busting up at uh, Candy because I guess the customer came in her restaurant and he felt like he was overcharged. He was charged for ice because his receipt said $4 and it had rocks next to it. So here's some, which I probably would have to. Well, I would have asked. I probably would have asked. But he went on the website or the review, made a review talking about they charged him for ice and this and that and that and this. And Candy had to explain to him that when you order drinks on the rocks, they charge you a little more because you have to pour more liquor. Versus if you got a rum and coke or Cranberry, Hennessy, something like that. And I'm like, okay. But, you know, I felt where he was coming from. And, you know, maybe restaurants should, you know, explain this before, you know, people get their bill and they start going off. You know, common sense ain't always common. You know. Mm -mm -mm. I really did that, y'all. <laughs> I'm hungry. Man, how about them Lakers? You know, I'm a Lakers fan to the fullest. Not because LeBron there, you know. I always have been a Lakers. I'm a Lakers fan. Uh, but I'm definitely, I'm like in this old man team, as everybody calling it, you know, and I'm like, well, shit, these old men, they still balling. <laughs> so, um, I know people think Brooklyn's supposed to win it all. Or that's what's going on in Vegas or whatever. But don't count my don't count my Lakers out now. You definitely got the potential to get that ring in. You know. So I'm excited. I don't know about nobody else. <laughs> yeah, I cook this shit. Mm -mm -mm. It's better than the restaurant. 
Mm. Mm. Speaking of candy. Mm, mm, mm. So they're saying next season, Cynthia or Key won't be on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. It's kind of sucks because I'm going to miss Kim. My oh, ass is funny. Kept up a lot of shit. But some of the shit she was right about, some shit was just like, bitch, that wasn't necessary. And I heard they were trying to bring Frazier back. That would be interesting. But I don't know how Candy would feel. But she told them she came back, she couldn't. So. Hmm. Well, y'all. I just sat here, max this food. And then y'all was like, she is gross. Eat one hand. Mm. But that's just how I like to eat greens and, and cabbage with my hand. Mm. Don't judge me. I didn't get a chance to watch Love and Hip Hop. Mmm. Oh, I forgot before we jump up out of here. That versus, man. <clears throat> it was a good versus. Now, nah. I don't care what nobody say. That comment that Joe made, I know you're in the heat of the moment, all this stuff, but that shit, just, that wasn't cool. It's about some nappy headed hoes in the crack house, like for real. My thing with him, he's like, well, I didn't know who was back there. My thing is, it don't matter who was back there. You call whatever female that's supposed to be back there some crack ass, crack headed coves. My dude. And I don't believe him. I don't believe him. For real. I think he knew that Vader, that Vita, I'm talking about Vader, that Vita and Lil Mo and Shanti was back there. You're not going to, you're not. You knew that. Be real. I mean, I'm glad he apologized. And then my girl Remy Ma disappointed me because it's like, you jumped in to take up for your brother. You know, because they said it's their brother and sister shit, which is cool. But how you going to tell Lil Mo how she should feel and she should just squash it? He ain't called you no dirty crackhead hoe in the back. Remy, really? Really, Remy? You, me personally, you should never make that comment to Lamo. You was out of line. You was out of line, son. I'm sorry. You was out of line, Remy. You can't tell that woman how to feel. That, that's a, First of all, that's embarrassing. It was damn near a million people watching that. You know? And it, was just, it wasn't cool. And for you to come up with that and make that comment like, oh, get over it because he apologized. B bitch, what? And how are you going to tell somebody how to feel? Because if somebody would have called you that when you would be ready to fight. Or your husband be ready to fight. You know what I'm saying? What if they husbands was ready to fight your ass? Which they have every right to. Because I don't care what nobody say. You're not going to tell me he didn't know they was back there. Period. So, but whatever. You can have that. Yeah, I just know I'm glad they, he apologized. They end up squashing it. And that's good. Hopefully he learned from this mistake. It was just crazy as hell. But y'all, I am done. I'm about to go wash these dishes so I can get in the shower and go to bed. My body 
Y'all probably can't tell, but my body is like aching as hell right now. Aching. And I just want to take some ibuprofen, take a shower, and lay down. That's all I want to do. So thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, comment, comment down below. <clears throat> I really appreciate all y'all who subscribe to the channel and watch every video. You are so loved. I appreciate it. Trying to get to that million sus subscribers, you know. So on that note, I got to go YouTube and I will holler at y'all in the next video. Peace.